Hello and welcome to the third part of this um, guestbook tutorial. Um, in this part what we're going to be doing is um, actually programming the processing page for inserting information into the guestbook. So we've obviously now got our form already so we come over to here and we've got um, the information here to post if it wants to go there, there we go and at the moment if we post an entry it goes to guest underscore process dot php and does nothing so let's make it do something okay so we're on guest underscore process so first thing we need to do is test to make sure that the um, the submit button has been pressed and if not then we'll uh, head a location index.php and obviously we need an else on that there we go okay next what we need to do is need to connect to the database so let's come over here and let's just grab this and place that in there okay so next let's make some variables here and name let's just copy this and what we want to do as well is we want to strip any tags um, from any of the entries that have gone in okay because we don't want any other uh, HTML going into our database okay so name and we've got email and got email here let's place that down and we've got websites and website here and then we've got comments and we change this to uh, new line to break and change this to comments and then what we need is a date function so what we've got here is y m We'll display out the dates and time equals the date function once again, and we'll just use I, just use that basically. Okay, now what we need to do is mice make a query, so it equals MySQL uh, query, and what this is is going to be insert into uh, guest book values and let's open this up come here and what we need is seven uh, four five six seven and obviously this is going to be the ID which is going to be left zero because it's auto increments and we've got name email websites comments dates and time and stick a semicolon on the end of there okay and once that's done we we'll just do header location index.php and control is to save that's pretty much all of it done come over to here refresh let's do David's and we'll just do anything in here basically just for the sake of saving time and press post entry and there we go okay so that puts the entry into the database and if we come here just to have a look at it and now you can see that you've got uh, David here has gone in okay it is as simple as that basically that is it done um, now like I said before um, that you can uh, validate your forms as well now um, I did um, validation with inside the contacts um, form tutorial previously so it would be exactly the same information um, now basically to have a look at this if um, this is uh, string length is zero then display an error here if email is uh, z um, string length is zero display another error here website and comments the same again and you can make a reset button as well if you want uh, but in principle that is it basically done there's a few other things that you could do but I'm sure you can pick these things up and learn these things by yourself this is just a tool 
to be able to teach you how to make a guest book. Uh, how you use, use that tool is your decision and how you can make that tool better and your own unique way of doing it. This is just the basic structure of learning how to do it. So I hope you enjoyed uh, these three tutorials together. I hope it was informative. Uh, I hope you can manage to move on and take this to the next level um, by maybe taking this information and then making a forum. Um, maybe I should do a tutorial on that as well. Okay, well, my name's David Thorne from www.thornwebdesign.de. Please subscribe to me. It's so important to me that you subscribe. Um, and uh, I hope you do well in the future and um, come back to see my other tutorials that I do. Goodbye.